Hi, Raymond Petrauskas here. In this video, I want to show you how to install the Trader on Char, the trading panel for the MetaTrader 4 platform. So first, what you're going to do is to download the software, obviously, and you do that from the download center. So once you purchase the software, you get access to the download center by email. And when you log inside, open the download section. So I'm in the download section right now and uh, I see the trader and chart license over there. You can see it's a personal license and here is the license key. These uh, numbers and letters in green. And it also tells me that this is for one computer and on that computer you can use it on unlimited real or demo accounts. Also it shows me the subscription um, status kind of it's active or cancelled or you know the sometimes it shows the next payment date if you have uh, your active subscription and whether you want to download the, uh, the invoice or cancel subscription or change your payment methods you can do that by using this link it it should be um, one or another usually it, sh it goes to to check out or the clickbank okay so once I click on it, uh, it takes me inside and allows me to download the Trader and Chart software itself. When I download it, I get this file. And you can see it's a Trader and Chart personal license and it's packed as a zip archive. You have to unpack it first in order to use it or you know to install it. So there are two ways to do this and the this kind of might be a bit dependent on your computer so it might be a bit different on yours if you're using maybe some other Windows operating system version I use Windows 10 uh, but maybe yours is older or if you're watching this sometime later in the future maybe you have a newer version but usually you can just go inside the zip archive and just open the file so there is a there is an auto installer and there's instruction manual and also there's a readme file I suggest you reading that and if you go inside the MQL4 folder you can see there is a two folders inside experts which has the actual EA itself and there's a library folder so these are kind of required if you have to do the installation manually if the auto installer doesn't work so uh, the most easy way to do that is to just click the right mouse button, you know, on the MQL folder, choose copy so that it copies this to the clipboard. And then I open my MetaTrader platform, go to file, data folder, and then I just copy, paste these files in there in this data folder you can see there's a, the same mql folder inside so i'll just copy those files and it will just kind of put everything in right places so it's already done <laughs> it didn't show even no confirmations nothing but if i go inside mql4 inside experts i can see there's a trader and chart ea now if for some reason you can't do this manual install installation or you just want to make it uh, simple and easy or install this on many MetaTrader platforms on your computer then you can use the auto installer actually it's my preferred way as well uh, you can double click on it and it will just ask whether you want to extract a file or run it so obviously we want to run it and once it it's loaded it's like a like a installation wizard so you have to accept with the agreement uh, we we'll go next then it explains that you know that you'll have to choose the folder and here's the list of all the metatrader folders that this installation wizard found on my computer as you can see there are lots of them and some are installed in the program files and Others are installed into my Dropbox special folder where I usually keep all my MetaTrader platforms. And, and basically, um, if you feel overwhelmed, if you have like a lot of MetaTrader 
platforms on your computer and you don't know which one it is exactly that you want to install it to so you <laughs> just use the select all button and it will just select all those platforms and it will install it on all the platforms another option you can do uh, if you know where you want to install it so in my case is fx open so i can type fx open right there and you can see it will highlight <clears throat> all the items with the fx open word in it so it makes me easy to find all the uh, fx open metatrader platforms kind of so it makes it easy as well so so for this demonstration i will just uncheck everything I don't, I don't need it to, to go to all the MetaTrader platforms. And I will leave the, the FX Open one. I think that's the one. We can, we can actually check it. If we go to File, Open Data Folder, we can see our data folder is inside the roaming. And uh, its name is like lots of digits and letters and this is the format the metatrader uses but if i open this origin file then i will be able to see the exact folder see it's program files metatrader fx open one so that's the correct one that i've selected actually so that's the one fx open one i click next and it's it's already done you can see it, it's extracted files it's done i click next and i click finish um, i don't recommend using this run metatrader for because it launches it in administrator mode so on some computer this might cause some issues uh, this this feature was created quite a while ago and you know uh, things have changed lately um, so i would just ignore this one and click finish so if my metatrader was running i have two options i either need to restart it now so that it shows me the the new uh, app that i've installed it or i can go to this navigator window which is can be access, accessed through the view um see the navigator i can hide it or unhide it and i go to the experts click the right mouse button and choose refresh now look now it doesn't have the uh, doesn't have the trader in chart and I click refresh it appears here okay so now to use the trader and chart app I need to load it on the chart so I'll just randomly choose the euro dollar chart and open a new window but obviously you can use whatever you want and whatever you need and um, it just happens so that by default it's hourly chart so it doesn't matter on what kind of time frame you load it it can be anything you want yeah, obviously if you're scalping you might want to you know choose switch to lower uh, time frame or whatever you know but it works on all the charts and all the time frames so to load the app I uh, have two uh, kind of maybe three options I would say so first one I just click right mouse button on it and choose attach the chart or I can just double click it or I can kind of click drag and drop it on the chart so whatever way you prefer yeah? <laughs> now I go to input and now what I need to do is to input the license key now the license key was sent to you by email after the purchase or you can switch to the uh, download section in your download center and you can find your license key right there so you can just copy it and then double click it right there and paste it inside that's it as for these settings um you can just leave them at defaults usually don't need nothing to change there and if you ever do it will be kind of quite an advanced settings you know so i won't talk much about them i just click ok uh, oh one more thing sorry in the common tab make sure that you have allow live trading and allow dll imports selected otherwise it will throw an error because 
this thing requires DLL libraries and if if they are not allowed and MetaTrader doesn't allow to start the software I click OK the software loads and you can see this panel appears on your MetaTrader chart now I can uh, obviously start using the app and opening the trades and, and I can open the pending orders or I can open <clears throat> um, kind of market order sell or buy so for the sell or buy it's obvious I have to click on these prices not actual words like sell and buy but on these prices you can see the the mouse cursor changes to this pointing finger so if I press here it will open the sell trade and then we can just try that here we go we have a sell trade okay so now if we want to open the buy trade I just click on buy but for this one make it a bit interesting so we can change the lot size or something like 1.0.25 and let's add a stop loss of I don't know 50 pips and take profit of 30 pips and I click buy and you can see that it opened the buy trade of exactly the lot size I've just set and it placed a stop loss of 30 uh, sorry 50 pips and a take profit of 30 pips if we want to measure that we can do this with the control f it switches to this cross or we i can switch to to this cross here right there and then i can just use my mouse to measure the distance so that's the distance of 300 300 points which is 30 peps to the take profit and if I lower the scale I can see the stop loss and we can measure that it's 500 points which is 500 peps um, to the stop loss and if I hover the mouse on the stop loss it actually should show me the info let's try again yeah here we go it shows pips minus 500 that's in points because it's a five digit broker uh, so this means 50 pips and if it hits the stop loss the profit or loss in this case will be 125 dollars so again we um, we can make another test i just close these trades let's make another test and this time I will choose to risk in money and I would say I want to risk $500 in this case because it's a dollar account right there you can see it's a dollar account and uh, let's just leave the same 50 pips stop loss and I click sell this time so stop loss will be higher like that it, right there if i hover the mouse it says my profit or loss in this case will be hundred dollars it's a stop loss of 50 pips and you can see it calculated the lot size automatically which is one lot you can see if i make this to something like 675 and i click let's close this one and i click sell again it will open a trade of 1.35 lots and let's see it will be a loss of 675 dollars so it just calculates really exactly so it might not be as exact um, with some slight deviation on like a pair on these cross pairs like euro gbp if you have a dollar account or you know all these exotic pairs but but it works just perfectly for for dollar pairs and your dollar account and and so on now we can make it even more interesting let's see i want to risk 2.5 percent per trade and uh, i need a stop loss of 77 pips and the take profit of 155 who knows what the lot size will be anyone huh let's see i click buy here we go 1.62 let's make it the scale smaller and see what the lot size is 
with the loss. The method trader says that the loss will be one the one thousand two hundred forty seven point four. So if I take my calculator one thousand two hundred forty seven point four and I divide it by the account balance which is forty nine thousand nine hundred sixty five and twenty one and uh, times 100 that's 2.496 you know the in other in the words is 2.5 risk percent i mean uh so that's the beauty of the trader and chart because it calculates the lot size automatically for you and you don't have to do much uh, just input your preferred stop loss, the real risk, take profit, and you can see you can use the stop loss as the exact price as pips or the high low, higher low of the last bar. Uh, for take profit, you can choose the the ratio. Uh, this one's interesting. So if I make uh, stop loss ten pips, and I choose the ratio of let's say three and I open a buy trade let's close this old one so you can see that my stop loss is 10 pips and my take profit will be three times bigger because it will just multiply stop loss size by three to get the take profit size here we go it's 30 pips and you can see it beautifully calculated all the uh, you know the lot size and everything so to risk 2.5 percent yeah it's and it's the same 1200 something dollars yeah um yeah we'll also have option to you know usually used for scalpers that you can use take profit in seconds and there's a take profit in exact price if you want if you need to place the pending orders you can use these options you choose what you need let's say open a buy limit and uh, buy limit means that buy below the actual price so let's choose something like 1.3025 1.3025 and i click the place button oh sorry you you I choose exact price and i click place button whoop, and it plays the buy limit at exactly the same price that i just wanted to and it automatically calculated the lot size, stop loss, and the take profit. And I have also a um, few other quite a good uh, buttons there. This is the closed section, kind of this small one. If I click on pending, it will close all pending orders. If I click on market, it will close all market orders. If I click on profit it will close only profitable trades or you could click on close it will close all the trades that i'm lost so in my case it should close the buy trade let's see here we go it closed it now for for the pending order let's see one more example let's say i will choose to sell stop which is sell below the actual price and this time i will choose pips distance so i will say it is okay make it like 27 pips below the actual price here yeah, and I click place here we go I have to make the scale smaller here we go so it's 27 pips uh, stop loss of 10 pips take profit of 30 pips which is you know three times bigger that's exactly what I chose so that's the beauty of the trader on chart so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find it useful this app it really makes wonders and makes all the things you know it make, basically makes your trading easier allows you to save time and make everything more accurate so i hope you enjoy it see you bye